Tani with Clicky Chick Creates and today I wanted to share some projects that I've been working on uh, during these winter months when it's a little bit gray outside um, or sometimes we get a little bit of flaws, just some fun colorful projects. So um, this project I actually posted on my Facebook page and some crafty friends asked if I would share how I made these. So I'm going to, these were really simple to make. Um, I had to pick up some more clothes pins and these are a little bit longer than my original ones. Um, so we'll see how these end up turning out. But these were actually made, you know, zoom in a little bit. Aren't those adorable? So those were actually made using these Kaiser Craft stamps that I bought a while ago. And um, I just used some of the different sentiments. So we're gonna make a couple right now. I'm gonna do the laugh heartily and relax daily. So there's all kinds of different sentiments. These are a bit uh, too big for the size of the uh, clothespins, but they're super easy. So all you need is a stamp. You'll need some um, clothes pins, of course. You need some Versamark and some embossing powder. So this is a new color I picked up. It's raspberry. It's uh, just over at Michael's. So it looked really pretty when I saw it. So we'll give this one a try. All right. So first things first, we're gonna juice up our stamp. Ooh, I just realized I had something on there. Get my scissors to lift that up. All right, just a little bit of fuzz on there. All right, so we're just gonna juice this up and try and line it up uh, where the metal piece is. I'm gonna try and go on each side of that as much as possible. So, excuse me if my head gets in the way. Just gonna press that in and kind of rock it back and forth a little bit just to make sure it's it has nice coverage. And I don't know if this will pick up on camera, but I can see where the stamp basically left off right about here. So I'm actually going to see where that left off again. And I'm just gonna add just some ink, solid ink. All right, that should do the trick. And I'm gonna add some of this embossing powder. So even though I'm dumping a bunch on there, obviously I'm not gonna use it all and We'll end up, so that's pretty decent coverage. The rest that we don't use just gets put right back inside the tube, or the container, I guess it is. All right, just gonna hit this with a heat gun. cute little sentiment. And what I have been doing is I have these one inch magnet squares that I bought, bought them a long time ago. They're just, they've been in my stash. And they're just little um, squares that you can break off. So out of one square, I can basically cut it into three strips. So I just eyeball it and just cut it into thirds basically one nice clean cut. They're pretty easy to cut. Again, we're just going to juice that up with Versamark. I'm going to try and center that as much as possible so that the words are on each side of the, the metal piece. And then once that's done, then I'll go in so I can tell here 
I don't know if you can see that, but there's a tiny bit that did not get um, any of the first mark ink on there. And then I can see where that one ends. I'm just going to juice that up. All right, so that one's done. And I'm going to flip that around because it has a different color on the other side. I wanted to do a little bit of this green. Let's see, this one is Pearl Luster by Stampendous. I'll tell you the color in just a second. And set that one aside. The color on this is Jade. So let's drop that back in there. Okay. I'm going to drop some. they look and then of course like I mentioned before is you can end up adding some um, some magnet backing on there and basically create these to add to your um, let's put one on here I, this is bad I don't remember if the video had gone out of focus when I had showed these or not. So these are one, ma one inch magnet squares. And it comes in a whole sheet basically, which I've already used several pieces, but you just get the squares. And these are really easy to cut, like really easy to cut. So I cut them into thirds, into strips basically, and that fits perfect. And they're, um, the back of them is already, uh, already has adhesive. So I just pop those on there. And these are fantastic, like I said, to uh, to put on your, not only your fridge, to put photos or any to-do lists, um, but they're also great to put on your, um, on your stove hood and you can basically clip your recipe on there, whatever you might need on your stove hood. Um, but yeah, these are great for not only obviously for chip clips, um, to corral little, you know, bits and pieces of paper, to-do lists. Um, they're really cute on bags. So I put together a bunch earlier. So look how cute, how cute does that look as a gift item? Let's say, you know, you're giving somebody a, I know, a little thank you gift. You just kind of put something like that together. How sweet, how sweet is that? So yeah, super easy. Um, these are also great for, uh, for parties. Um, if you wanted to do a twine or jute or some sort of a string, you can hang um, either your kid's artwork, you can hang photos off of it. Um, you can use these for parties for place card holders, um, adding a bunch of different uh, strings 
across either like a, a window frame or a, um, a an old door that you're using for decor and you can basically put a bunch of these and hang um, either place cards or um, like sometimes for baby showers if people are doing having people bring old photos of themselves um, and playing the, the guessing game of who's who this is a great alternative and not having to use pins to and not damaging any of the photos so anyway lots of awesome uses for these obviously I know my girls are going to see these tomorrow morning and they're immediately going to ask for them. I have to ask what they use these for. <laughs> they're five and eight and they constantly, um, when they see my creations, want them. So it's really sweet. But I, I am curious what kind of uses they would find for these that I haven't thought of. So anyway, um, wanted to share these with you. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, tutorial and I hope you have a blessed and creative day. If you like this video and like more like this, please give it a thumbs up. And that way I'll know and I can cre keep creating. Um, thanks again for watching and be sure that you subscribe to the Clicky Chick Creates email list at clickychickcreates.com. Thanks again. Have a beautiful creative day. Bye-bye.